another one with three titles. The Lynx Cup. What are the odds of a group stage going to a tiebreaker? Also, this is big news because Lionel Messi is making his debut in the U.S. And the big question for me, will Messi's third match be here in Orlando? Well, my son Josh and I are fans of the Orlando City Soccer Club. Coming up here, we have two home games that are part of something new called the League Cup Tournament. It is a tournament between all the teams in the MLS, which covers U.S. and Canada, and Liga MX, which is Mexico. So three countries, kind of exciting. We get two extra games, first the Houston Dynamo, and then a Mexican team called Santos Laguna on July 29th. Uh, but just yesterday, it was all over the news that Lionel Messi's first match is going to be here in the League's Cup, which sets up an interesting possibility. Uh, so the, the Cup runs from July 21st through August 19th, 2023. There's 47 clubs, uh, two automatic berths to the knockout round, leaving 45 more clubs that are organized into 15 groups of three. It's a total of 77 matches. Uh, it covers every club in the MLS, Major League Soccer, and 18 uh, clubs from Liga MX. And Orlando, our hometown team here, is uh, in the South Group 2, uh, and Messi will be playing for Miami, who's in South Group 3. Now, typically, when we get to a knockout round in one of these, the winner of one group plays the second from the next group. But because the bracket guaranteed the Mexican champion from last year and the MLS champion from last year a spot in the 32, it kind of screws things up in that the Group South 2 winner has to play the Group South 3 winner, right? So that creates an interesting thing that if somehow Orlando advances as the winner of the group and Miami advances as the winner of the group, then that means that Lionel Messi's third game could be at our home stadium in Orlando, which would be great. The other big winner here is if Miami would finish second, uh, then there's a chance that they go on to play the winner of South 4, which would be Charlotte, Dallas, or Necoxa. So even before the Lionel Messi announcement, I was interested in this and the possibility for a third match if we make it to the knockout stage. And so I decided to redo my World Cup tiebreaker analysis uh, from an earlier episode to handle the scoring for the League's Cup with three teams per group. All right, so with three teams per group, it sets up uh, three matches. A plays B, A plays C, B plays C. Each of those three matches have four possible outcomes. First team wins, they get three points. Uh, the second team wins, they get three points. But now check this out. If the match ends in a draw, both teams get one point, but then they hold a penalty kick shootout to award a second point, right? So you have this possibility of getting three points or one point or two points if you win the penalty shootout. All right, so four possible outcomes over three matches. So we raise four to the third. That's 64 possible outcomes per group. And the question for today, what are the chances of a tiebreaker being needed in group play? And with 15 groups, we're going to have some tiebreak. All right, so finally, here's the Excel uh, to, to do this calculation. Over here in column A, I have the numbers 0 to 63. Thanks to the sequence function, I start it at 0. Uh, so it doesn't run from 1 to 64. It runs from 0 to 63. Great way to get those numbers there. And then all of the possible outcomes, uh, thanks to Kyle for this formula, using the base of this number, using base 4, with a minimum length of three, and that gets us the three outcomes from the three matches. So match one, A plays B, match two, A plays C, match three, B plays C, and then the possible outcomes. Over here is my little table. Remember, there's four possible results. First team wins for three points. Second team wins, they get three points. Draw with a first team penalty win, and a draw with a second team penalty win. So just uh, some great little switch formulas here to assign the points, and then total points. Now, of course, I didn't realize it when I started this, but it makes sense that with three matches, and there's always going to be three points awarded in every match, because even in the draw, the penalty kicks award a third point. Uh, there's always going to be nine points in each group at the end, and then just ranking those using the large function. So this is, takes the large of these three numbers, 630, and I want the, large, the first largest, the second largest, and the third largest. So we get 630 concatenate those all back together so we can count how many times each one happens. And then over here in analysis, is there a tie between first and second place? 
just comparing those two, a tie between second and third place, comparing those two, uh, or a tie between all three, uh, and then any tie at all using the or function. So with all of that math there in Excel, we finally come down uh, to this. So the possible outcomes for group stage is one team has six points, another team has three points and zero points. That's going to happen in 9.4% of the time. Uh, 621 also happens 9.4% of the time. And then this kind of strange result here of 540. So you win one match, uh, draw the second match, but when the penalty kicks uh, could advance you, uh, you know, depending on how the other the teams happen, right? So the ones that are really interesting here, uh, where we're going to have to go to the tiebreaker is uh, 522. That happens just under 10% of the time. Uh, 441 happens 10% of the time. And then this three-way tie, where each team wins exactly once, uh, happens 6.3% of the time. So what are the what's the total here? If we add up the nine, the nine, and the six, down here in the lower right-hand corner, we're at 25%. So uh, you know, with 15 groups and a 25% probability, there's a good chance that we're going to get the tie-breaking uh, criteria have to come into play. All right, so the tiebreakers, uh, it, it actually the first tiebreaker after points is going to be the deciding factor if it's a two-way tie. If it's a tie for second place or a tie for first place, it's just direct head-to-head -head match result between the tied clubs. And since they only played once, uh, it'll be really easy. The only place where tiebreakers three through seven will come into place if, if there's a three-way tie uh, with each team having three points. And then it's goal differential. Uh, greater number of goals scored or fewest number of goals conceded and then the number of yellow and red cards and and then finally just a draw but the odds of getting to any of those are you know one in 16 uh, so most likely the tiebreakers will be just resolved right here with the direct head-to-head -head match results very interesting possibility if Messi brings Miami up into first or second in his group a chance for one of these three teams to get to see Messi or one of these three teams if Miami finishes second. That adds a lot of interest for those clubs because if you manage to get a home match against Miami with Messi in his third game in the MLS, that is a guaranteed sellout, isn't it? Okay, well, there you have it. Vamos Orlando. Hopefully we will win out and have a chance to have Messi at our home stadium. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below.